there she is. Lego City. <laughs>
portion vehicle token. This is at the end of chapter 10 where we unlock helipads. I also did a video of all helipads and the flying vehicles you get with each one. It's in my LEGO City Undercover playlist. Hey! Well, okay. I hope this chicken can take both of our weights. Are you saying I weigh a lot? Yes. I'm choosing this exact moment to discuss how much you weigh. Where's the hospital's helicopter? The one day it's not here. Of course, a helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files it can blow out of my hands. But as soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen. Yeah! Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. <laughs> I left this in because it's fun. The grunting and growling cracks me up. That's all of them. We get the swooper with this helipad. Get in. Really? You can fly a helicopter? Let's find out. Who were those men? No idea. They didn't look like Chan or Vinnie Papalardo's guys. They don't even look like Rex's thugs either. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. And now we can build crash mats, like the one in Fort Meadows. Not too far from the Festival Square train station is a call-in point. Dowser vehicle token. The deep sea spin super build doesn't show up on the map until you discover it. It's not on the mini map yet. Now it's there. <laughs> Deep Sea Diver Character Token. <laughs> if you're coming from Festival Square, you can just drive to the other end of the Heritage Bridge to get to the Model Citizen Super Build. Or if you're coming from the Cherry Tree Hills train station, it's to your right. I'd really like to know what video games you're playing these days, since there hasn't been any new LEGO games out. I play games for teens and older on my other channel. This channel is for all ages, but I try to keep it family friendly.
Hey, character token. <laughs> the helipad in Cherry Tree Hills is one of the first helipads I got. Responder Helicopter Vehicle Token Right next to the police station is a call-in point. Imprisoner Vehicle Token Behind the police station is a ferry to get to Albatross Island. In one of my games, this was the first super build I got. is actually a pretty good car. I love this place. I should be spending my day off doing something more constructive. Next to the train station is a wishing fountain super build. Ice skater character token. There's a crash mat super build on that building that doesn't show up on the map until you discover it. Now it's on the map. Revolver, wheelchair, <laughs> vehicle token. Next to this house is the Hillside House Super Build. Ooh, I could use that Super Build. Those things are awesome. And there's a super brick in that garage. And we get the sleepyhead character token. Down the street in Auburn is a call-in point. Sorry, it's an emergency. Crasher vehicle token. Next to this call-in point is a way to get to the Sky Glide Super Build in the Auburn Water Tower. Here's a big super brick that we can get.
This is another hidden super build that won't show up on the map until you discover it. I have discovered a super build. Yay! Harbor Worker Character Token on Remastered Version, Mechanic on the Wii U. Across the street from that call-in point is a Stunt Ramp Super Build, which is also hidden. Race car driver character token. On the way to the Auburn helipad super build is a big super brick. Next up is the Auburn helipad super build. Para helicopter vehicle token. Here's another big super brick we can get on the way to the Auburn chimney super build. On the next street over, you can get to the Auburn chimney super build from this gate, which needs some dynamite. You can get some in the dynamite vending machine at the Auburn train station if you don't have the unlimited dynamite red brick. I show how to get that red brick in my 5 most useful collectibles video. There's a link in the description. We can get a big super brick in that garage. If you don't have the jetpack, you'll need to open this garage door with the fireman disguise. Right after this, I'll show you a quicker way to get to this point if you have the jetpack. Hazmat Guy Character Token. This is a quicker way to get to the Auburn Chimney if you have the jetpack. But the other way is right across the street from getting that big super brick. Also, you can get another big super brick in the garage going the other way. The other call-in point in Auburn is hidden until you discover it.
You have discovered a super build. <laughs> Dragger vehicle token. There's the call-in point on the map. This shows that we have all the super builds in Auburn. The Bluebell Tree in Bluebell National Park is another hidden super build. I could have just jet packed up there without pulling that shelf down. That's a small super brick. It just showed up on the mini-map. Man character token. Next super build is the Bluebell Stunt Ramp. There are a lot of super bricks in the forest on the left. Huckleberry character token. This stunt ramp in Bluebell unlocked a time trial over by the train station. Next is the Bluebell Colin point. Vigilant Vehicle Token. Press the right or left D-pad to activate the data scan feature to search for nearby super bricks. The Bluebell Serenity Bridge is another hidden super build. Karate Guy character token. The Bluebell helipad is the last super build in Bluebell.
Skybringer helicopter vehicle token. There's one call-in point in the northern part of Uptown by the Art Museum. Hestia vehicle type. The other call-in point is in the southern part of Uptown by the library. Hazard vehicle token. The only super build in Bright Lights Plaza is right there. Chaser Vehicle Token. The Arches of Tranquility are the next two super builds in Pagoda and are very close to each other. Here's the other Arch of Tranquility. There's one of the character tokens up there. character token. And Lee is over the other one. <laughs> Lee character token. The next one in Pagoda is the call-in point. Indulge a vehicle token. Indulge in a stretch limo. The next one in Pagoda is the stunt ramp. Lag me character token. We can get to the next one this way.
The Pagoda Frightful Freefall. Here's how we get the Punk Rocker character token. The next super build is a call-in point on the east side of downtown. Patrolo vehicle token. There's a big super brick up there. The next super build downtown is the fabulous ferris wheel for 100,000 bricks. Try to aim for the middle cones or you might not get the Ringmaster character token. The next super build downtown is a call-in point on the west side. Earwig vehicle token. <laughs> the only super build on Lady Liberty Island is the ferry, and it's hidden until you discover it. Now it's on the mini map. Vehicle token. The King's Court call-in point is really close to the train station. I must get to the shops by four. Bristler vehicle token. The next one in King's Court is an emergency crash map. Be careful you don't overshoot that catapult.
Kowalski Shifter Vehicle Token. Next is the King's Court Ferry. Sevilla or Sevilla Vehicle Token. attraction. Press down on the right stick to use the instant vehicle red brick. The first super build on Apollo Island is a loop-de-loop. Wash Wagon Vehicle Token. Then right over here is a stunt ramp. Chat Show Host Character Token. The Apollo Island Helipad Super Build is at the top of this building, where I've been many times in past videos. I've been up here for the Apollo District Conquered, the Free Run, the Alien, and the Helipad for my Helipads video. There's also a drill thrill up here that I haven't done in a video yet. I figure you guys know the drill. <laughs> okay, that was bad. <laughs> vehicle token. We can go this way to get to the spinning shuttle program super build, which is a fun way to go. Or we can just jump off the side of the building and walk around. Danish character token. Next up is the Apollo Island Super Satellite Super Build. We get the classic alien character token this way.
The next Apollo Island super build is a call-in point and it's hidden until we discover it. Now it's on the mini-map. Wanderer Vehicle Token. We get the Space Shuttle during Story Mode in Special Assignment 15, but here's how to get to it later, and where you can get a big Super Brick. Spaceman Character Token. Now we're in Fresco for a stunt ramp. <laughs> the map won't let me stay over there. We get the Dasher Vehicle Token on the way over there. Mikey Spoilers Character Token. Ouch. Uh -oh. There's a call-in point on the other side of this leaning tower. The Fusiliani Tower. vehicle token. There's another call-in point at the southern end of Fresco. Squeaky vehicle token. We get the Paradise Pool super build in Paradise Sands in story mode in Chapter 11. The proof of the pudding is in the meeting. Palos Vehicle Token. Next is the Paradise Sands Loop de Loop Super Build. And now to get the Sweetie Bicycle Vehicle Token. Next is the Paradise Sands Super Sand Castle Super Build.
Surfer character token. The Paradise Sands Stunt Ramp Super Build is at the southern end of the district. Ice Fisherman character token. There's the call-in point in Paradise Sands. Traveler vehicle token in the remastered version. Epona in the Wii U version. The Paradise Sands Orion's Rockets Roller Coaster Super Build is at the pier. And of course, there's a cat up there to be rescued. <laughs> There's a character token up there. Hop on with the top button and then push the right stick forward to get it going. Or try the left stick. I think this is the coolest super build. Crazy Scientist character token. We can get to Bluffbeard's Lighthouse Super Build by boat. It's on that island. Sorry, police business. Captain Bluffbeard character token. The airport LCX control tower super build is close to the helipad. Here's a big super brick. Well, that didn't work.
Airline pilot character token. And now for the airport helipad super build. vehicle token. Next is the airport loop-de-loop. -loop. We need this and the stunt ramp to get the time trial with the orange car to show up for the Vor bike. Dog skateboard vehicle token. Here's one of the airport call-in points. Protector vehicle token. We need the airport stunt ramp and the call-in point by the loop-de-loop -loop to get the time trial with the orange car to show up for the Vor bike. Pilot character token. Here's another call-in point at the airport. MOV vehicle token. And the helipad super build at Albatross Island makes 65 super builds. But wait, there's more. <laughs> As a bonus, after this, I'll show you the T-Rex super build that we get in story mode at the Natural History Museum. It's pretty cool. Helicopter vehicle token. Spoiler alert! If you haven't played through the chapter with the museum, you might not want to watch this yet. Here's a bonus super build that we get in story mode that I thought I'd throw in just for fun, because it's so cool. Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time!